Hello, Just Too Good here, back from the review, and today we're reviewing kind of an early review on a LEGO Dimensions fun pack. This is the Nia fun pack. It retails for $15 in the United States, and it does include 59 pieces and one minifigure. Now, how these work are you kind of load this onto the LEGO Dimensions gamepad, and then it'll, it'll kind of load up the character in the game. But obviously, the game has not come out yet. It actually comes out, I believe, September 27th in the United States. So for now, I got this early on eBay just because I had a few gift cards left over. And it was a pretty good deal. So I want to take a look at this early well, before we actually get the game. So let's just open this sucker up. Always cut away from you. And let's see how these things work and what's inside. So I never really do an unboxing, but uh, oh, so that's how it's packed. It's literally just uh, the two bags and the instruction book. I thought there would be maybe a new pamphlet or something like that. So here's the minifigure included. We just got Nia right here. Now it's interesting to note that all minifigures in the LEGO Dimensions line come on this little base with the two studs right there. The builds actually come on one with uh, four studs and all of them have their own exclusive printing. So I'd assume if you put this right here, it would still read as uh, Nia, even without Nia on there. So you could just kind of differentiate it by the printing on the little base. Now, there's no actual uh, reverse stud or anything on the bottom, so this right here won't clip onto a stud or anything like that. That's just molded onto plastic, and you can see the NFC chip on the bottom right there. That's how it would read in the game. Now, what we got here is actually the same Neo found in some 2015 sets. There's actually three other 2015 sets she comes in with her nice face print on the front right there, and her helmet, which has two different molds, and then this little clip on top with a different mold, which is actually the bucket piece mold which is kind of a nice part usage right there. And then on the back, you see she has some back face printing. Then without her sword holder, which those hold those two katanas right there, you could see her nice back printing on her torso. So I was like, okay, you know what? This is a pretty thin instruction book. I wonder why that is. So I started going through and I'm like, okay, they have Nia right there, the minifigure. All right. And then I'm like, what? Continue building using the in-game building instructions. Oh, so they don't give you the instructions here. Hey, well, uh, that's uh, interesting because now I can't really build it correctly. You know what? For the sake of this video, which has turned it from a review into an unboxing video, let's just uh, let's let's build uh, the first of the builds. So here's a Samurai Mac mini build. As I said, I'm only building this one build right here that they show on the front and on the back. And I'm basing off of that picture right there because they don't have the instructions available. You have to actually own the game to get the instructions, which really took me by surprise. And I'll complain about that in a little bit. But uh, for this build right here, I mean, it's basically what you'd expect. I don't know if this is a correct build on the back. I'm just kind of guessing because, you know, they don't have any pictures on the back or anything like that. What I do like is the inclusion of this three ball mini ball joint on the bottom. That piece it's actually really uncommon. It only comes in one other set. So for a cheap $15 set, I think that's pretty neat that they included it. And I'm sure it's going to be in some other fun packs and level packs for LEGO Dimensions. Now, uh, this does have some points of posabilities. It's actually really cute. You got these two legs right here. And you have these two arms right here, which I really like how they built this and how they made or they use these little katanas, if that's how you pronounce them, um, on these little hilts right here. And it kind of makes for a pretty cool looking mini sword. I might just steal that and then use it for some uh, fantasy era figures or something as like a little new sword design. Uh, like I said, these arms are posable and you could actually make some cool poses on how they kind of make these with these mini bowl joint receivers. And uh, they use those little corner plates right there, which kind of come out pretty interesting. Other than that, there's nothing too much interesting going on, with, which is kind of how it is for a lot of these uh, little packs for LEGO Dimensions for the builds. But, you know, in-game, they're going to be really exciting because they're like little mini vehicles that you could ride around in, which I really like. So that's it for this. And you got to note that this little base right here, which is kind of hard to take this off. I didn't even know it be this hard. Uh, this base right here has four little uh, studs on it, while the minifigure bases only have two. So they do have two different molds for this going on. Of course, uh, they all have different chips on the bottom. I or I don't know for the vehicles. I think for the vehicles they use the same chip, uh, but we're going to have to see how that turns out when the game comes out. Because maybe for the vehicle they use the same chip, and it's just based on weight or something like that. But I'm not entirely sure. So it's all really a mystery to me right now. It's very iffy. And so yeah, that's it for this build. And let's go on to the final verdict. All right. So here's my final verdict on this. I'm not going to rate this because I can't really call this a proper complete review uh, because the game's not out yet. Thus, I can't use uh, the instructions to actually build the correct three mini builds. Uh, just my first thoughts. This is like a first impressions video, sort of. It's, it's just a whole bunch of videos in one. 
I wish they would have included instructions for all the different builds instead of making them exclusive to the in-game, uh, you know, actual gameplay. Because what you got is it's kind of isolating fans who don't have the game. And I know these figures were meant for the game, but what's cool about Amiibo and Skylanders and all those other Toys to Life stuff, you could collect the figures and everything and not own the game. Of course, I'm not saying it's going to be super hard to build the minifigures uh, without owning the game, but for a lot of these mini builds, which look cool next to the minifigures because they're kind of like a little thing that represents the minifigures, people who don't own the game aren't even going to be able to build them. So that's a little bit lame in my book. It's not the biggest complaint out there, but I wish they would have just included just the building instructions. Like, it, it shouldn't have been that hard to include the building instructions for these little mini builds. So now you're going to have to, like, squint at the TV or whatever, look at the TV, build, look up at the TV. Like, I like having these little booklets for building LEGO because it's just convenient to flip around. I know I've done a few... Uh, computer builds before where I would look at instructions on the computer for like a, a max build for Mixels or whatever. Um, and it's it's really, te I think it's more tedious than just having an instruction booklet. So that's just my thoughts on this. Do I think these are worth it? Well, some of them are worth it. Like, for, in my opinion, I think this fun pack's sort of worth it because uh, the Neo minifigure is one that doesn't come in many sets that are cheap. This version only comes in three sets that are all like, I think they're all over $60, $60 or over. Which, so this is this is a $15 way to get Nia, and then you got that nice little build right there, um, which, you know, doesn't come with too many nice pieces, though it is nice to get that little three ball, mini ball joint back there, uh, which is cool. And of course, the printing that's exclusive to this set is this little base right here, which actually makes for a cool display piece. So, you know, if you don't own the game, it's cool to display these figures, but then again, if you don't own the game, you can't even build this little mini build right there. So that's just my thoughts on this. I can't wait to get the game, and I'm probably going to do a lot of videos on the game, so stay tuned for that. And more information for those videos will come out as uh, the release date draws closer. But you guys express your thoughts on just this very early look at these fun packs, or just fun pa this fun pack in particular. And we'll see you guys later.